Giving students access to groups. Students can access groups in several ways. This video will show you the variations. Here we are logged in as a student who has been manually enrolled in a group that has been made available to students. A new section appears under the course menu called My Groups. The new menu contains a link to each of the groups in which the student has been enrolled. Inside the group, the student will find a set of tools. This is the most convenient access point for the students. Course Menu You can provide links to the groups page on your course menu. Let's switch back to the course as an instructor. This is how they access any sign-up sheets for self-enrolled groups. You can add a link to your menu for the tools area or to the specific group page. Here's how. Hover over the plus sign at the top of the menu. Click on the tools link. Type in an appropriate name. We're going to type in tools. And for the type, select either groups or tool area. We're going to select tool area. Make sure you make the link available to students. If you have created a tools area link, your students will click on the tools link area and then go to groups to access that page. Let's go there now. And here's in the students and tools. Content area. Another way to make the link available is in the content area. This allows you to show and hide the link based on adaptive release rules you have set. Navigate to the content area where you want to add the link to the groups page. Hover over tools, click on groups, choose whether you are providing a link to the group page or a specific group or group set. Note you can create a new group from this page as well. Click Next. Type in a name and any other text that further describes the link. Set your availability in the options. Click Submit. Once the item exists, you can click on the drop-down arrow and choose the adaptive release rules if desired. Make sure your students have easy access to the groups you have created.